of you relax yourself please stand for a minute and relax yourself do the chapali hmm? one time yes good please be seated stepping into the <clears throat> stepping into the oozing topic is oozing right now i am starting is the oozing right so rather than drawing on the board even i can draw please there is a image is there in front of you in the ppt so please you just look into that and based on that try to understand if you still you are not understanding that time certainly i'll draw on the board right so if anyone having the doubts please this is as a foundation i mean to say please keep it in your mind forever keep it in your mind forever whenever till our last breath so this concept should be there in our mind so number 1 the fire organs we all know now we look into that specific organ only related to the zang visara related to the zang visara that to be known as a cardiac system or the heart why i mean to say all the time is the system remember that in your mind is not heart heart everybody knows but i consider as a cardiac system cardiac system you have to register in your mind it is heart only right because you are not studying a b c d class but you are studying as a international standard way in that way you keep it that heart is cardiac system is supporting to the digestive system that is the spleen that means the heart is supporting to the spleen the heart is manufacturing producing creating generating and synthesizing to the one organ that organ to be known as a spleen according to the oozing that means is the five element theory that means now i am making as a one cycle universal cycle of the pancha mahabhutas so how is connected the one organ to other organ how interlink each other based on that perspective i am giving you but this is in fact is very 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 imperative to keep it in your mind the heart is good then the spleen also good when the heart having the deficiency of the function the chi is deficiency then the spleen chi also get deficiency sir heart is somewhere spleen is somewhere but how is it interconnected each other because the fire nature is something hot nature or the heat nature fire is integratedly pericardium also integrated here when the heart is good enough energy then that passing energy to the child that passing energy to the son right here is the heart is the parent heart is the father heart is the mother anything you keep it everything is same heart is mother organ which nourishing to the child when is required when the spleen having the deficiency that time mother is not nourishing energy to the son sir why doesn't nourish to the son perhaps is the disharmony between the one organ to other organ mother wanted to dominate and the child is not getting the enough energy always children obey to the parents but every children will obey the parents of course that is the mandatory that is that is the obligation is there that certainly we should follow and we should respect our parents in this universe and almighty should give in the eternal life it will leads to the heaven life if you will not respect to your parents then you will go to the hell 
in that way this also when the parent is that mother is good then you respect it to the the child is respected to the parent that time the mother always nourish to the child however when the mother having the sickness due to that reason the mother is not nourishing to the child then obviously because mother doesn't have to feed anything the child also suffers both the ways chances are there because is the dominating nature of the mother is there that time it's not supplying that leads to the excess energy in the heart system i'll give you one example when the hotness is more the heat is flares up when the temperature goes higher level when the hyperthermia or the hyperpyrexia that time the entire body is warming like a heart but that time normally during the temperature what the person does is i don't want to take anything i wanted to relax myself i wanted to take the rest and he don't want to drink water he don't want to drink milk or anything he wanted to isolate it he wanted to take the nap all the time indicating that when the hotness is there the second the organ the immediate organ will going to suffer that he don't want to take it anything in the form of the food that indicating to all of us stomach is first is affected stomach organ is earth organ yes or no yes so stomach is not accepting any food that means you understand when the fire is good then the digestion also good if the heart and small intestine is weak the first organ is stomach get disturbed i don't want to take it the, the stomach will not accept that get the nausea and vomiting sensation yes or no that's the reason the small intestine should work precisely good in our body system when again heart is excessiveness then the spleen also get disturbed that the patient feel lot of thirst but he don't want to consume any food but he wanted to drink only water to moisturize the body system indicating the whole muscles gets the pain whole body gets the pain indicating spleen and stomach also affected and he don't even feel any hungry he don't want to take any food when the heat is goes up or anything you will going to burn so that will become what happen ashes that will become ashes earth so that's the reason you understand whenever the heart is functioning well then the your spleen and the stomach also good as as one of the so our participant is telling that i got the acidity and gastric problem as the heart is impacted maybe i have the uh, heart related problem as well the small intestine is affected in your body that's the reason it is affected to your stomach as well therefore correlated each other i mean to say whenever there is a spleen problem is there treat to spleen itself treat to spleen itself by activating the point to be known as a thai pai that is spleen 3 or the spleen 4 kung sun you add up any one point to treat the spleen itself then if heart is because of the heart malfunction which causing the problem in the spleen then in which organ we wanted to treat we should treat to heart so which organ which point we wanted to treat treat h8 also good that is shafu treat the h8 to regulate the cardiac system if the mother is good then child also good first if remember if is one particular organ having the deficiency focus only to that particular organ on that particular time 
the person is hungry that time you are nourishing with the with the money to go and buy it where there is no restaurant there is no hotels at all so that time money is not required what is required the food is required to that particular place to nourish on that particular time the person is hungry for the last two days yes or no so money is the next is required for the tomorrow purpose if he is fed the full of his stomach they can he can walk from the different places or he can do the you know on the own place he can create the food but now what is required is food is required not money is required but in that case when the person having the deficiency of the spleen but treat to the spleen itself in the first primary organ the second organ to be known as a heart organ rather than heart which is required when the person remember when we do required the problem is for the last few weeks or the few days then you need not to treat the heart but treat only the small intestine to regulate the stomach condition when the person is suffering for the last greater than 3 months or the 6 months that time you treat to the heart to regulate the spleen function as hopefully you understanding that means is the acute diseases are different from the chronic diseases right so then come to the come to the earth is producing to the metal yes please when we put after the time we put and the problem of sorry please come once again when we need to put for but after five minutes we got and we did the problem of this or that so i'm not very clear about your question anyone knows his question please you just translate or you can tell anyone there is disturbance so it's not clear some network Medica, issues are there please mute yourself please mute let me come so otherwise you ask me once i completed please because the flow should be go but please do, when i ask you the question please note down i'll give you all the answers of your questions please no okay so now we'll come to the the earth element is producing to the air elements right so that means the spleen is stress synthesizing or producing to the pulmonary system according to the five element theory when the exchange of the gases in the atmosphere to be taken place when the inhalation and exhalation and metabolism to be taken place between these two organs when the spleen is good then the respiration also good when the spleen get malfunction then the respiration also get disturbances what is required whenever the pulmonary system is deficiency when the lungs are weakness are there or the lungs get excessiveness anything connected to the lungs problem treat to the lungs in initial stages by activating the chin chu that is lu 8 point sometimes but whenever we wanted to use as a only the lungs this is for the temporary relief you are the time you are given the support to that particular organ at the same time when you wanted to strengthen the another organ to be known as a spleen organ when the spleen is production of the phlegm is spleen the container of the phlegm to be known as a lungs whenever there is the spleen is production is phlegm is producing not only in the lungs but perhaps it's producing in the spleen because whenever we require the lot of water that water will convert in the form of the phlegm sometimes that will phlegm will be stored in the pulmonary system then it gets the shortness of breath or breathlessness due to that reason whenever there is the lungs malfunction or disharmony we remember to treat the patient by activating the one element or the organ to be known as a spleen and the stomach 
strengthen by activating the thai poi that is spleen 3 you are strengthening to the spleen indirectly you are activating to the lungs as well today mother is good then the tomorrow son also good but the mother having the enough money then that money given to the son please accept it and then use it when there is no money there is no energy then again the sun energy also declining now we are stepping into the lungs are good, then the kidneys also good. When the lungs having the low energy, that will not supply the energy to the renal system. Whenever there is a renal impairment is there, that particular time it is advisable to strengthen the energy to the kidneys by activating the points to be known as the ingo, that is the K10, you just activate. Or you want it to use as a mother point, folio, you just use it. The grandmother point you want it to activate is the K3, activate. But at the same time, what is required? Strengthen to the mother organ, that mother organ to be known as a lungs. Using the Chin Chu LU8, Tai Yuan LU9. You are strengthening to the pulmonary system. When the lungs are good, then the kidneys are also good. When the lungs are weak, then the lung kidneys also get deficiency. There are the numerous reasons are there to cause the kidney problem. Now I am talking about the, the five elements theory. In that perspective, how is it connected to that organ? Whenever you remember when the patient having the kidney related problem, that time they are giving the they are giving the medicine to the pulmonary system as well. They are providing the heparin and other medications to the lungs also to regulate the overall system, to regulate the blood flow, to the communicating to the water element. The water is good, then the wood also good. That means the tree, wood is nothing but is the sky or heaven or ether or space or the atmosphere or the akasha. That to be provided through the support of the water. When the water is good, then the liver also good. When the water having the deficiency, the kidney energy is deficiency, then you remember liver also get deficiency. To strengthen the liver, what is required? Water to, should be nourished. So water should be nourished means you are strengthening to the water by using the ingo K10 point where exactly that point is located midway between the two tendons the tendon to be known as a remember my name is semi semi membranosus and semi tendinosus tendon in between these two tendons the point is located ingo K10 you activate that point to strengthen the repel and strengthen the kidneys that will indirectly supporting to the liver system as well so hopefully when the liver is good then you understand it is a chemical factory in our body the mechanism is really good if the liver is mother for all the organs in our body when the liver is good because that is the storage organ, whenever we nourish us in the form of the food to our body, normally we require two chapatis, we take as a more chapatis, more chapatis and more abdomen, right? So when we consume more, that will going to store in the one particular organ, that organ to be known as a liver organ, yes or no? It will nourishing to the liver, Whenever we take the excess food that will be required the energy, the excess energy will be stored in the form of the glycogen that will be in the liver system in the form of the blood as well. So you all know what is the maximum capacity of the liver storage of the blood. It is 2 liter of the blood is stored in the liver. None of the organs will store that much amount of the blood. So therefore, when the liver is good, then the heart also good. Right? Liver is good, 
then the heart also good indicating that when the liver is enough amount of the blood is there that is nourishing to all the organs because each and every organ having the different direction of the chi flows in our body but liver having the major role which inward outward external internal interior exterior in all the directions it will distribute the blood so that's the reason liver is the mother organ for all the organs but this is my way of thinking but this is the reality as well when the heart is getting the malfunction that means the heart is not pumping the blood precisely to the entire system of the body that means that means liver is not strengthening not giving the enough blood to the heart system that's the reason that get the deficiency of the blood which is not supporting the that's the reason the left ventricular the dysfunction is the the aorta is not pushing the blood to the entire system of the body so because the liver is not supporting to the heart system whenever there is a deficiency that time it is advisable to strengthen the energy to the liver to support the heart system therefore the liver is the organ mother organ to the heart system now we understand there is a one cycle this cycle to be known as a shang cycle shang to be known as a creative cycle shang means is the production so shang means is the is the is the creating or generating cycle or the production cycle so this cycle is 24 hours in a day continuously it's functioning in our body if the 24 hours you mean to say the entire life cycle this life cycle to be known as a shang cycle this cycle cycle to be known as a pancha mahabhuta cycle this cycle to be known as a wu sing cycle